classic vibrant shades to create whatever you want. No rules. No rules. Um, hello, here I am again. Can you believe it? Three videos in a row, and by in a row, I mean all within the same month. So I wanted to come back and do another look with the Sykes box by Clara Sykes. Here we are, here she is, she's beautiful. So one thing I do with nearly every palette I get, I always keep it in its original box. This one, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm probably gonna frame this box. Anyway, I wanna do another look with this palette. I'm really excited because they're so easy to blend, first of all, and I've been thinking real hard about this color right here, Sprite. And I also, I also want to use this guy right here. This is a Mayra Metallic Powder. This is a copper one. I was going to get gold, but y'all know I've messed with gold too goddamn much. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is clean up my brows because, <laughs> look at this. I'm going to use the NARS Soft Matte complete concealer. Jaw definitely feel or that golden hour girl also known as Morgan put me on but it's amazing as a base for your eyeshadows and what I'm not gonna do is set my lids because I'm seeing everybody not setting their lids and I did it once the other day. My eyeshadow was f***ing popping. So I was editing the last video and I realized I looked down so much. I was just, um, yeah, hey guys. And I mumble. I mumble naturally, trying not to. And I thought my dad was just really critical of me. No, but I mumble so much. So I'm trying not to mumble. Let me know if it's working. I'm gonna start off with this beautiful palette now. Um, I think I'm gonna take Sprite first. I'm gonna take this Makeup Shop T50 brush. It is a fat tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna take Sprite. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. But that's what this video is for. So you guys can watch me put it somewhere on my face. Oh, good God. It's so beautiful. This is the palette we've been waiting for. This is the palette we've been waiting for. So I'm bringing the Sprite down here and I'm dabbing and blending at the edges. Look at me being an influencer. I think I'm gonna take Life on Mars now and I'm gonna put it somewhere. Put it somewhere. Is this even legal? Look at this color payoff. Now I'm taking Gossamer, it's that white, and I'm gonna place it on my inner corner and then bring it down a little. This look is feeling, with the colors I'm selecting, it feels a little Marie Antoinette-esque. Is that my name? <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with Baby Jane and between where that green and that white is, I'm gonna apply Baby Jane pretty saturated and then I might bring it down. Yeah, I don't know how to use that brush. So I'm bringing this pink around the edge of that green and I'm gonna let it travel into my cheeks. And then that's where we're gonna start applying blush. And this brush is stained, not dirty. That was easy. I'm gonna touch up that minty color 
And then I'm gonna get into that copper from Mayron. So that is all I can think of for right now. Now I'm gonna try that metallic powder from Mayron. I don't know where my mixing plate is because I'm irresponsible. I found this guy. Who? <clears throat> I don't know what the happened there. Also going to use this Mayron mixing liquid. So I'm just going to add a little. Is that a little? Not enough. Okay. And I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of this mixing liquid. I'm going to do it off camera because if I do it on camera, I will pour the whole bottle into this. It was far too much. Well, the damage is done. I'm not using any more powder. If I use more powder, there's gonna be too much chip for my dip. If I use more dip, there's gonna be too much dip for my chip. We're working with what we got. Okay, we're not doing that. So I went ahead and tried something on this side before I did it on this side. I don't recommend using that Mayron liquid near your eye. It doesn't say anything about not using it near your eyes, but I smelt it and it's probably going to irritate your eye. With that being said, I used the Inglot Mixing Medium and I mixed that with the pigment. I'm using this Royal Magnical Brush. It's a small tap wand brush used for acrylic paint. So this is why they do that with the hand. Okay. Okay, so I f***ed up. Um, I was going to just do dots, but since I messed up, I'm not going to start over. I am just going to start making a blunt line and, that br uh, and bring that copper pigment to a point. I'm going to apply a dot right here and then pretty much mimic the same pattern I have going on up here, and it's gonna end at this dot. Eyes, done. No, I'm gonna add a little more white, add some lashes, I'm not sure which ones yet, and then I want some magical lashes, and I think I'm gonna pick these lashes from the Makeup Shack. And you already know I'm not applying these on camera. Okay, I'll give you guys just a peek. That's it. These are not the same lashes. You think you have it together at 25, right? You think you have it together at 25. You've never been more wrong. The only good thing is that your insurance goes down $5. I found the lash. Get off me. Before I add a gloss and highlight, I am going to add a little bit of the Suda Beauty Hydro Liner and Space Pan. It's the white one. I'm just going to add a little line right here. Um, if I were you, make the line stand out because now I look like an idiot, but I'm going to make this work. I'm going to photograph it. I don't care. Now I'm going to take this highlight from Makeup Revolution. I'm taking this rosy one. I'm just going to apply it there. Why I'm using the biggest brush? I don't know. This white has made my eyes seem very far apart. I knew this was going to happen, but I did it anyway. Um. I'm here for a long time, not a good time. Gloss. Oh my god, this gloss smells so good. That is a look, fellas. I think you could do without the liner, but you guys know I always go off on a tangent. I'll catch you guys in the next one if there is a next one. Bye.